Right, Tyrell, am I all on and turned on? Yeah. The microphone, I mean, just because this is Fifty Shades of Grey, Tyler, we don't want any of that nonsense going on. Right, this is Simon and Tyler's version of Fifty Shades of Grey. It's sounding even, do <laughs> sounding even dodgier now. Right, Thanks so why is this called... Look at, look at my lovely Land Rover with its lettering across the front here, Defender. Well, Land Rover made numerous models in different colours and different specifications. And they had the Carpathian V8s and the, the, what was that, the Model X and lots of far more expensive versions than my Model S. And on different models, they put, and different regions and different colours, you could specify different colours of lettering. And they all seem to be, we have them assembled here all genuine Land Rover parts and we will go through in this video the different colours and what they look like and sort of a bit of what models they were fitted to and what part numbers they are so you can order these we have these on the website but you can buy all these from your local friendly Land Rover dealer or your unfriendly any Land Rover dealer right so here we go so these are all these so right let's have a look so this is the front lettering this is the rear lettering doo -doo, doo -doo. that's all pretty good right and it comes spaced in a way that is correct but 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 you'll notice the way if you look you can see it's somewhat banana shaped you can see this gap here is and it sort of diminishes and goes up again i don't want it like a banana but one of those tricks of the modern world that when you put it on a curved surface it sort of looks straight ish now the trouble is it's hard to put this on the car so when we sell this lettering we give you a handy template and I've just come up with a with an idea so this template we've cut from cardboard and it fits over there and allows you to line it up and get and it sort of lines up with this crease line here right I was just thinking because Mr Gordon Barkley a regular contributor to our channel he said because the trouble is when you've got your original letter and that gives you the place now you could mask and take this in place or draw around it with a, a china graph pen and set the place but he said why don't you make a hinge here and we did make some templates with a hinge didn't we Tyler so you could flip it backwards and forwards flip it out the way take your old lettering off flip it back but I just thought maybe we could do like the hinge here because to get them in the bags for postage we have to put this little weak point so you could actually take that lettering off clean it then flip that and put the new letters in and then do the other half. I've just come up with that idea now. Right then. Anyway, so that is how you fit the letter in and you've seen us do that several times. So templates, right. Let's get back onto the colours. The 50 shades of grey. So you can see, that one's easy, I think. So I don't think that one's black, isn't it? Narvik black. Narvik black, they call that. And that probably comes if you get the black pack. Like, what's this one, Tyler? This Atlas. So I think this is Atlas Great. And that Shadow Atlas. Shadow Atlas. Is that all that he's reading? He's got I'm his notes. <laughs> right. So but that is quite a dark sort of grey. I've got to sell these, so I can't I can't mash them up too much. But it, it's it's quite a dark it's it's a little darker than the old Brunel grey, isn't it? Now this one seems a little lighter, doesn't it? What do you reckon that one is? Hold on. We've got it written on here somewhere. This is Silicon silver. Silicon silver. You can see there, silicon silver. Like it's sort of grey. <laughs> mid mid grey that one. <laughs> right. Uh, and what was that fitted to? What have we got? Because Ben's done this thing, and it, so we don't know what that was fitted to, do we? This is our cheat sheet. This is our cheat sheet. Has he done another one where he actually says what they're fitted to? They might say it written on there. Ford Dynamic X. Uh, oh, where does it say that? Ah, oh. oh, look. That's, that's the Dynamic X, have that one. Right. Oh, what's this one, Tyler? Oh, that's a bit more silvery, isn't it? Oh, he's lost his sheet now. I'll have a look on here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's silver. <laughs> <laughs> is it silver? No, this is Noble Chrome. Oh. This is Noble Chrome. So that is, is that the shiniest silvery? But it's not the silveriest one. He's lost his page. Satin silver might be the silver. I don't know. Look, it says it's got Noble Chrome front written on there. Bright pack. Noble, look, he's put Noble on there as a part number. So this comes with the Bright Pack. There you go. Um, yeah, right then. So that's that's that one. Um, and Ben has done a good picture, and you can compare them all. Now this one, I would say, is the most silvery. It's the lightest shade of grey, isn't it? Would you agree with me? But it's not quite as sort of... 
this one's got a sort of depth and shininess to it. This one's much more matte. And what's this? This one's called silver satin, I guess. Yeah. So there we go. There's silver satin. This one's quite nice. That, oh, that does look nice. That is called satin chrome. That's for, for the X. Look at this. We got 50 shades of grey, X-rated. That's sort of the best of both worlds. I think that is quite nice, that one. I think they've done well with that one. So there we go. So that is not really 50 shades of grey, but there's plenty of greyness going. And then for obviously for any corresponding colour of grey there, you have the same shade of grey for the back from black through to, um, there you go. And it says a bright pack. This one, obviously, I think the only way we could buy it was with that badge, but you don't have to fit that extra badge there. That stands for diesel 300 horsepower, Tyler. See? I've got the P, oh my God. I've got the P300, haven't I? There we go. P300, yes. I forget, because one is two litre, 300 horsepower. So mine's P300, right. Okay, that's, right, rear template. So there we go, there is the rear template. And, and this is cunningly designed. We've got room to squeeze around the back. Pass my Tesla bumper. So you join us at the rear end. And what are we looking at here? So that little arrow there goes to the corner of your door. So Zach's done this. We'll, we'll see more of Zach over the next few weeks, won't we? Unfortunately. He's our rising star, Zach, isn't he? <laughs> right, so that points down there. And then, depending what badge you've got here, they all align to this side, but they go, depending how long they are, they go that way. But there you go, that allows you to fit the Defender in there. Right then, we've got a few other things we're working on, haven't we, Tyler? We've still got our rear step. We've got the, with the spare, let me see if I can grab those bits quickly. Right, so a couple of things we're working on. You always like to, so a couple of people have asked for a spare wheel delete and we're working on this option here and we've got some sneaky plans, but that's that's one of us, but I can't, I haven't even stuck the vinyl on properly. Um, and then we were looking, and we, we might do it in different colours, the backing in different colours. These are just the bits we're playing around with. Okay, and then you could have something like that. So that's what we're playing around with on the spare wheel. Let us know what you think of that. Do you think that's cool? Um, yeah, what are the advantages of spare wheel delete? Don't know. Um, weight. Less weight, easier to open the door. You can fit in your garage if your garage is not super long. Um, disadvantages are you haven't got a spare wheel with you. Um, you can't climb on the spare wheel to get on top. Apparently there's increased drag. Apparently the spare wheel reduce the area where the turbulence could collect behind the vehicle and the spare wheel aptly i had this some a jlr engineer told me that in the testing they did the spare wheel reduced the drag coefficient so that's an interesting so you'll get increased drag but there we go we're working on that um keep your eyes peeled but there you go 50 shades of gray done